Hey John, here's a uh, quick video of your uh, amp. Um, this was broken off. I think it was broken when you sent it to me, but I uh, shortened up all the wiring and uh, made this fan nice and neat. This fan was running continuous, but it is now hooked up to the internal uh, thermostat switch. And this fan intention is to actually draw air in and evacuate it. It's to uh, it's designed to keep a negative pressure on everything inside, and keep the uh, the Wilkinson combiners uh, cool. Let me uh, switch to this side. Um, I have all the wiring hidden. It's all uh, heat shrink. It's actually I only work in Teflon, so it's actually you can't see it because it's all hidden. But it's all uh, PTFA. And it looks, you know, really, really good. Um, all new stainless hardware. All new stainless hardware. No zip ties where they're supposed to be screws. And the thing basically looks new and professional again. This fin's bent. I'm going to straighten it. Probably in shipping. But you could be uh, proud to uh, put this in... Uh, any commercial environment, then it should be fine. Um, I just wanted to talk to you real quick uh, about a couple of things that I feel I'm knowledgeable in. Um, this amplifier has 40 to 50 watts uh, input and 200 out, which uh, equates to 60 dB gain. That's basically running the transistors close to wide open. Um, so this amplifier by TE is rated 180 watts. This amplifier is rated 200. And the exact same amplifier by Crescent, who makes the best stuff, rates their amplifier at 150. Well, guess which one breaks the most. The one that's rated 200 breaks the most. The one that's rated 180 breaks a little bit less. And the one that's rated 150 very rarely breaks. And all three of those use the same four transistors, MRF 648s. They're rated 60 watts each, which means they're rated 240 watts. Derating this to 200 is really, really pushing it. Derating it like TE system does down to 180 is more reasonable. And derating it to 150 like Crescent does is brilliant. Um, this has 40 to 50 watts of drive. If you want this thing to last and last and last and last, drive it with 30 watts, get 150 out, you'll be 1 dB down from the 200, and it'll last forever, especially with three fans. But it's your call. You can run it however you want. That's just my suggestion. Um, you know, a lot of that has to do with environment. If this is in a 68-degree room, you know, HVAC room, it's gonna, it probably wouldn't matter. It'd probably run at 200 watts. But if the AC goes out, you know, you're hurting it. Uh, on the other hand, if this is in a room that doesn't have air conditioning, you know, you really need to run it at 150. Even though they rated for 200, it's not a fair legitimate number. So uh, this one, I got to, believe it or not, I have about three hours into just cleaning up uh, a bunch of things on the inside that you can't see, redoing all the fans. Um, but I can't charge you you know, 80 bucks an hour for three hours. It's, you know, it's crazy. So um, I will, I'm going to go for a walk with my girlfriend. When I come back, I'll send you uh, a more reasonable bill for this. I probably get 20 bucks in parts in it. Heat shrink, stainless bolts, and uh, some other miscellaneous stuff. But uh, I'll come up with a fair price. And then I will, uh, I'll throw that one on the bench and uh, see what we can do for that. If you need this, I can mail it out to you. Um, otherwise, I'll mail them uh, together. I don't know if you can see how bad this box is. Like, it is destroyed. So, alrighty. Uh, hope you like the video. Talk to you later. Bye.